Okay, another cool tool that you can use to annotate text in the digital space is Google Docs, just plain old regular Google Docs. And so you just need to get your text in there. Um, I uploaded as a Word document because that's what I have, but you need to open it with Google Docs so you're actually able to interact with the text. And when a student interacts with the text, it actually looks like this. And so the way it works is like this. You've got the student who highlights something like raging along the borders of every page and maybe they notice that this word raging fits in with this word ferocious um, and so they're going to comment by saying insert comment and you can also use this the shortcut on the keyboard which is the command key on a Mac plus shift plus M and on a PC it would be slightly different and it would show you what that is so you click insert it highlights the word raging right here um, and then you type in raging also sounds like an angry word so that the student is commenting and interacting with the text. As a teacher or a peer you can also respond to, as I've done up above, you can respond to the student's comments. So you could say, why do you think Collins uses these types of words? Do you think he hates reading? stupid question, but you could ask a follow-up question. The student could respond, that's a stupid question, of course not. Um, you can respond back and forth, so you could actually have the capacity to have a dialogue about your reading as you go. If you want to take that one step further and actually add voice to that dialogue, either in terms of adding commentary as they read or in terms of explaining after the fact, the annotations that they had done, you can use this really cool tool called Voice Comments. So to get Voice Comments, you actually need to add it as an app. It's an add-on to Google Docs. You just click on this orange button, Create, and you've got this option that says Connect More Apps. And so you go to the App Store, you'd search for Voice Comments. These are free and they just add right on super fast. Voice Comments is right here. I've actually already added mine. Yours would be blue and you just click it. It just takes a second to add and that's just an additional capability that you have. Once you've added the Voice Comments option, when you're in your list of all your documents, if you double click um, or um, right click or command click, you get this option to open with. And you want to open not with Google Docs, but with Voice Comments. And the first time you use voice comments, it'll give you this uh, list of questions. It wants to be able to do these. Okay, that's fine. Um, and so what voice comments lets you do is record kind of in conjunction with the Google Docs. Um, I'm going to say allow so that I can do this. Um, it lets you record in conjunction with your Google Doc uh, commentary. Um, as you go. And so you can um, go through and, and, and add your own voice to, um, to the document. So I would, I would start recording here. I would say, okay, um, as I'm reading, I'm noticing that um, the notes are ferocious. So I'm going to highlight the notes are ferocious um, because that, and that makes me really think about how angry uh, Collins is portraying the words to be, as well as skirmishes which is another word. I guess maybe I should put all these angry words in red, huh? So I'm going to make this be red and red. Um, and, and here's also raging and red. So all these words that are angry words um, really strikes me that he's, he's creating this, this tone. So you'd, you'd record your comments like that. When you're done, you'd hit stop. And then if you push play, I'd say. Okay, um, as I'm reading, I am noticing that um, the notes are ferocious. So I'm going to highlight the notes are ferocious um, because that, and that makes me really think about how angry uh, Collins is portraying the words to be, as well as skirmishes, which is another word. I guess maybe I should put all these angry words in red, huh? So I'm going to make this be. Okay, so you get the idea. So now, now we've we've recorded the comments. You can see the highlights as they happen. So this is a way for kids to 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 physically interact with the text and explain to you what they're doing as they do it. So then Google Docs gives you both the written. Um, opportunity for dialogue back and forth as well as this more verbal explanation of markings that students are doing. Um, both free, easy, all within the Google that you already have. Great options for online annotation.